Welcome back. Apologize for the difficulties. First and ten after Asante Dolman's catch to the 45-yard line. As Ranklins drops back the pass, floats it deep, nearly picked off as the pass overthrown. Ebenezer Kozar, the intended receiver. What a name. Tank Savage nearly had his second pick. Kozar could have done with, come uh, down with that one, however. Second down and 10 to the 45. Renegade straight up dominating right now. Three wide receiver set. Hand off to English on a counter. English has a lot of space. Pass the 40-35. England to the 30. First down. English down 3.8 yards a carry and 70 yards in the first half. Bruski 176 and 3. But English gets the job done and moves the sticks for Dallas. Conrad pardon, not Kozar on the last play. First down of the Renegade 30. One receiver for Dallas. Two in the backfield. Ranklin's going to roll that way. The block again is not picked up. Dallas is missing assignments. And another sack, the third of the game from Ronaldo Gaylor. The fullback just broke down and did not make a play. And Gaylor is having a field day out there. Renegade defensive line not known for putting teams on their back, or opposing quarterbacks, that is. Franklin's back to pass, swings it outside of the fullback, picks up four to the 34-yard line. Third down and 13 again. Five wide receivers empty backfield for Dallas. Trying to keep the drive alive as the first half coming to a close. Ranklin's pass is caught by Goodspeed at the 16. Goodspeed's first catch of the day. It goes for 18 yards. And Dallas has once again entered the red zone. Five to go, four minutes or four receivers. Three to the bottom of the screen. Franklin's all kinds of time down the middle into traffic caught at the two. That's good speed. Back to back catches for good speed. That one goes for 16. And Dallas once again knocking on the door. This one much more difficult for good speed to come down with in triple coverage with the umpire standing right in the way. First and goal at the two for Dallas. Fighting to keep their postseason hopes alive after an undefeated and dominant preseason. They hand it off to Johnny English. He will go around the end and Dallas will score their first touchdown against the Renegades this season. For Johnny English, that's his third of the year. And it's 21 to 9. If you missed the game yesterday, Kalua was down 20 to nothing to Grand Rapids and completed the greatest comeback in league history. A third 29 win on a Matsumoto pass to Yuya Iba for a touchdown in the final minute. Kalua improved to 2 and 3. Grand Rapids fell to 2 and 3. 
And if Dallas wins today, they could get within just one game of the final playoff spot. That's how big each game can be here in the SFL. They trim the Renegades lead to 11, 21 to 10. From the 11, OKC on the return. Past the 25 and dives up to the 31 yard line. It's a little unprofessional, but we wanted to get it up there. That is the next Renegade home game, the season finale against the Baltimore Crabs. Get your tickets now. 1-800-GO-GATES. Pete Bruschi near broke another one. Picks up eight. He's now up to 184. And for Pete Bruschi, it's his fifth straight game over 100 yards. Only Elliott Snyder can say that. And it's already his third most productive game of the season. Second and two at the 39. They hand it off to him again around the left hand, right hand side. And he picks up one yard. Third down and one. Handoff to Pete Bruschi, and he picks up the first down for the Renegades. Let's take a look at the Lowe's historic stat from last game, brought to you by Lowe's Never Stop Improving. Oklahoma City, this is an unfortunate historical fact, lost 21-14 to the New York Knights. They've never started a season 0-2 at home. They have never defeated the New York Knights in this building. Two-minute warning, let's pause. Ten seconds for station identification. Lock it in and shoot the knob off. This is Renegade Radio, 16.9 FM. First down and 10 at the Oklahoma City 43. Three wide receiver set. Dallas shifting the defense. Corners come up and safeties move back. Hart is calling out a signal. He'll run a draw. Bruski is plastered. Loss of two at the 41. Brewer comes in. Vicious hit right in the mouth of Bruski. Brings up second down and 12. Biggest hit we've seen all day. the Bovine. Bovine's got space and Bovine's second carry goes for seven. Tiberius Bovine, the rookie fullback, first ever star fullback in SFL history. Third down and five of the Renegade 48. Both teams have all three timeouts. A 21 to 10 ball game. Renegades hurrying up to the line just a bit. Don't want to give Dallas the football back. Their offense got into a rhythm last drive. And off the Bruski on the trap. First down to the Dallas 46. Now I think Oklahoma City has to pass. 50 seconds to go. Everybody rushing to get set. Four wide receivers for Hart, who's at a very quiet first half. Swing pass outside, caught by Abarazzo. Gain of four, stops the clock with 44 seconds to go, and the ball resting at the Dallas 42. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe will have your first half highlights, stats, and analysis from the SFL studios in San Antonio, Texas, coming up on the 2K Sports Halftime Report. Let's go. Second and six. Remember to sign up in our forums, our free forum, create a profile, join the SFL conversation on the daily at the SFL forum, simulationfl.com, and click the forum tab. We'd love to see a part officially of this SFL community as Bruski lost three on the top set. Down. 
Third down, seven yards to go. Four wide receivers. Bruski to the left. Play action. Hart, all kinds of time, all day to throw. First down, Abarazzo and the Renegades. What a play from OKC. That was the biggest pocket I've seen since Rosie O'Donnell decided to wear sweatpants as Abarazzo makes the grab into the Dallas Red Zone. Huge throwing lanes for Hart on that one. And the Renegades in scoring position. Now two timeouts, plenty of time, 35 seconds remaining. Two receivers, two backs. And a swing pass out to Bruski in the open field. Bruski past the 15, breaks to a tackle, 10. Bruski five, hit just before the first down. And the Renegades have to burn a timeout because Bruski did not go out of bounds. Second and one from the four. And a touchdown here would be monstrous for Oklahoma City answering Dallas's. A field goal would be a big win for the Stars who are trying to claw and scratch their way into this game. Renegades red zone offense second in the league. Play action. Hart swings it outside. Got the first down. That's Bovine to the two. And it stops the clock with 24 seconds to go. Dallas's red zone defense is sixth in the league. 57% touchdown rate uh, percentage for Oklahoma City. 50% of touchdowns allowed for Dallas. So the odds with the Renegades here. First and goal with a two-yard line. Twenty-four seconds to go in the first half. Renegades looking to answer. No play action. Hart swings, turns the other way, and they said he was out of bounds. Perry can't believe it. That was a crazy play. Hart turned what appeared to be the wrong way, and Perry looked like he scored. How was that not a touchdown? And unless the pass, unless he didn't catch the pass, I thought Perry caught it in the back of the end zone. Beautiful misdirection play on the throw. Hart will have to pass on second and goal. He'll swing it outside and off the hands of Bruski. I don't know that I've ever seen Peter pass. Third down and goal now from the two. Hart back to throw. Hart to the back of the end zone. And he's out of the back of the end zone. Abarazzo doesn't know where the back line is. And an epic failure. Three straight plays for the Renegades. As they cannot punch it in from two yards out. And Dallas gets the stand. Man, I can't believe the Renegades are kicking a field goal right now, and the field goal is 19 yards out. Man, three straight times we didn't see Pete Bruski in the red zone. I have to agree with Fire Dragon. It's a little shocking that Bruski did not get the touchdown. He's got three already today. I don't know what happened on the second and goal play. It looked like Perry got the foot in. Case closed. I don't know who the back judge was on that play, but I think the Renegades thought they could just punch it through and didn't want to waste that final timeout just in case they needed it. The, the replay should have came from the booth, however. So, just a total mystery on that one. First and 10 of the 27-yard line. Maybe time for 
A last hurrah here for Ranklins and the Stars. They do have all three timeouts. Quick play and a timeout could set them up for a Hail Mary situation. And they're just going to hand it off to English, who is put down at the 32, and Dallas calls their first timeout. So they were just trying to get a little bit closer, see if Ranklin or if English could have busted it open. Very interesting first half here, but it's Pete Bruschi, the difference maker, as Oklahoma City tries to take a 4-2 series lead on Dallas all time. We're going to let Dan and Peter call the final play, 24-10 from Transcorp Stadium in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. The Renegades trying to put Dallas out of the playoff picture. Dan Peter, take it away. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Renegades enjoying the lead 24 to 10. Well, Dan, what do you say? You ready to dive into the 2K Sports Halftime Show? A look inside the numbers from our first half and look at the discrepancy in sacks thus far. The Renegades are winning because of it. Let's see if they can keep up their dominance in the second half. Let's get started in this one early in the first quarter. Number 12 went up top on the third down play and he was able to find his man. That set up a piece of cake, 18 yard field goal. The Stars strike first and go up by three. Towards the end of the first quarter, all at their own 38 yard line. Number 49 come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. After getting an interception, the Renegades back by three. Number 34 takes the handoff here and look at the blocking at the point of attack. A big opening up the middle. They take the lead for the first time and are now up by four. The Stars, end of the first quarter. Number 24 would let his big old offensive line pave the way on this one. Unfortunately, the drive stopped shortly afterwards and they had to punt it away. The Stars trailing seven to three. Number 12 would draw back deliver a strike on this one. Unfortunately, they couldn't capitalize on the big play and they turned the ball over on down. Now early in the second quarter, the Renegades inside the red zone. Number 34 would get the carry here. Good blocking up front, and it helped to spring him. An 18-yard touchdown for the home team. Midway through the second, the Stars trailing by 11. Number 31 shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The Renegades, middle of the second, Number 34 got the football here, and this was just all individual effort as he broke off a big one. An 84-yard touchdown for the home team. The Renegades ahead 21-3. to Number 24 is going to get the carry here as they grind it out on the ground, and he makes the most of this one. A 24-yard play that set up a visitor's touchdown. The Stars close the gap some. They're down by 11. The Renegades come right back. The ball at the 44. Number seven went up top on the third down play, and he was able to find his man. That set up a no-brainer 20-yard field goal. And that will do it. The Renegades are up big at the half, 24 to 10. Excellent job, Dan. The Stars get the ball first this half, and they could use a score right out of the gates to get back into this one. They trail 24 to 10. Let's go down to the field. 
Start of the second half, right around the corner for Oklahoma City. This is Renegade Radio. Renegade's up 24 to 10. We, we really enjoy live music. It's been a part of what the Town been for a long, long time. Uh, from major bands and major acts to really talented uh, individuals who know how to play guitar and sing good songs you know by heart or songs that they've created themselves. Some of the really big acts we've had that have been a lot of fun, we've done some outdoor concerts and some really big indoor concerts. Outdoors we were able to get uh, Big Head Tom Monsters with the Dave Matthews Band back early enough to when Dave Matthews Band was actually opening up for Big Head Todd and the Monsters. Um, that was a great show. Uh, we had the Doobie Brothers that played here uh, to a packed out uh, parking lot. Um, we had the Smithereens that played here, Collective Soul uh, with the number one hit in the country. Uh, it was number three when they played here and the place just went unglued. The Smithereens I mentioned, uh, some good country artists, David Allen Coe, Django, uh, Jerry Jeff Walker. Um, you know, we've been fortunate, Huey Lewis in the news. Um, we've had Uncle Cracker played here. Um, some fun bands, Dread Zeppelin, Rick Springfield played. Uh, we also had live, uh, uh, many co huge bands uh, have come through here and local bands. Uh, and we became known as the place for live music for a good 12, 13 years in Oklahoma City. Uh, live music has been our backbone. We've had a lot of fun with it. We've had things from cellist come in here to play. And we've even had some of the classic guys like Cheap Trick was a group that played here. Uh, Eddie Money played here twice. Uh, you know, uh, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, Lisa Loeb played here once. I got to meet her. That was kind of a neat experience. Um, it's, been, it's been great to be a part of national music as much as local music. And we hope to have those opportunities come our way again. Welcome back to Oklahoma City where it's 24 to 10. Renegades leading the Stars as Dallas' offense will get the ball to start the second half. Conway sends it away to begin the second half. Dallas on the return up to the 29, and they caught a big break at the end of the first half. After first and goal from the two, Oklahoma City was not able to punch it in, keeping the score a two-score game, and Dallas now has an opportunity to capitalize, scored a touchdown on their last drive. Two receivers. And English in the backfield. English 35 yards on a touchdown in the first half, and he only picks up one there. Now 35 yards on 12 carries. Scott King, the leading receiver, or led all receivers in the first half, 75 yards. Good speed, got it going there late. Two catches, 34 yards on that touchdown drive. Southwest shootout, sixth game. 24 to 10. Two previous meetings between these two teams and Transcorp we'll get to in just a minute as English goes back inside. That looked like a face mask. No call. Still going. And English ends up losing one yard as Adam Stackhouse finally cleans up. Oklahoma City's first ever official home game. Dallas, Dallas actually won that game 24-20 back on June 22, 2013. Ranklin's in that game through four interceptions. Scott King, 93 yards. 297 passing yards for Ranklin's. It was an ugly victory for Dallas as that pass is tipped and incomplete. It's going to be fourth down. Adam Stackhouse in that contest, 16 tackles. Uh, held the single game tackle record for a long time. Last year... Dallas came to Oklahoma City. And I'm trying to find the, the matchup. March 
2014, and the Renegades won a close one at 34 to 28. From the 34, Oklahoma City on the return. In that game, West St. Clair did not throw a passing touchdown, but Bruski had 274 yards, three scores, as the Renegades erased a 21-17 fourth quarter deficit with 17 points in the fourth quarter. Sackhouse had six tackles and a sack in that game. Andrew Ball in that game had a sack and a couple of picks. He's no longer with the team. And Scott King at 135 yards on two touchdowns. That's some brief history of the Southwest shootout here at Transcorp as Pete Bruski takes a handoff and picks up a couple of blocks and picks up a first down to the Oklahoma City 48. Bruski continuing his powerful running. We're about to break a new viewing record again. Up to 21 viewers. Thanks so much for supporting the Simulation Football League. Don't forget we've got a second game of a doubleheader upcoming. As the Baltimore Crabs will try to remain undefeated. Hosting the San Francisco Bulldogs. 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern right here on the SFL Network. As Hart hands off to Bruski. Bruski got some open field and another eight yards to his stat line to the Dallas 43. Not a good opening possession for Dallas to start this first half. A quick three and out. Two receivers and two backs in the backfield with Hart. Who had a sub 100 yard passing first half. Draw play to Bruski. Pass the blitz. Bruski first down to the Dallas 39. And Bruski may be over 200 yards for the second time this year. Now a three receiver set, three down linemen, and a 3-3-5 three, three, look for Dallas. And they're going to toss it out to Bruski. Bruski breaks a tackle, oh, and then a heavy hit at the 32, but Bruski picks up seven. 223 yards now for Bruski in the game as Oklahoma City nears field goal range. Bruski, first down again to the Dallas 27. They cannot stop this guy today. Similar to the last Southwest shootout meeting here in OKC. Renegade fans waiting anxiously to find out if they're going to have dollar Bruskies here in this quarter as well. They've had them pretty much all day. Three wide receivers. They toss it out. Pete around side and lost a yard. Second down, 11. Rare tackle for loss opportunity there for Dallas. How long can Dallas hang around in this game at 0-4, desperate to keep their playoff hopes alive against their arch rival, Oklahoma City? Here on the Southwest Shootout on the SFL Network and Renegade Radio 106.9, here by play commentator Cameron Irvine. The only simulation broadcast of football on the planet. And we are right in the thick of a hashtag football Sunday afternoon. Third down from the 28. Empty backfield now for the Renegades. This would be a difficult 45-yard field goal from here if they can't pick up any yards. Hart back to pass against a three-man rush. Hart goes deep down the field. Open inside the 10. Down to the 6. First down, Chris Taylor. A second grab of the game. And there were a lot of star defenders in the picture, but nobody kept up with Chris Taylor as he crossed to the middle of the field. First down and goal now for the Renegades, and the last time they were down here, couldn't punch it in. Dallas opened for more of the same. Two receivers, two 
backs. They flip it out at the break. He spun away from a couple and lost two. Brisky still, however, averaging 9.2 yards a carry. Elphage on the tackle. And Oklahoma City has had the ball for the last four minutes. Second and goal. Second down and goal from the eight-yard line. Four wide receivers set, three to the top of the screen. Abaratsubo is isolated with eight yards of field in front of him. Bruski takes it on the trap, breaks to a tackle, and nearly scored his fourth touchdown of the day. Gain of four, third and goal from the four. Renegades have not struggled in the red zone this season, but have been a little problematic today. They'll toss it out to Bruski. He took a vicious shot from Brewer. And it must have been a clean hit. We're going to get another look at it. But some poor play calling in the red zone once again. And yikes. Brewer took the wind out of the sails of Bruski. My goodness. And once again, inside the 10-yard line, the Renegades will have to settle for a field goal. Evanizer, thanks for the follow on Twitch. I believe that's now 53 followers on Twitch. Love in the pub. You guys can give us. Field goal is good from 26, and the game is back to three scores. But Dallas, once again, keeps the game close. This game could easily be 35-10 right now. It would be a four-possession game, and we'd, talk about, we'd be talking about the game being over. And Dallas returns up past the 30. Caesar Cannon, nice return of the 33. Welcome San Antonio to the chat. Hey, we love you. San Antonio is where we're headquartered, my friend. That's the best username I've seen all day. First and 10 of the 33 for Dallas. Three wide receivers, 27 to 10. And the draw play to Johnny English cannot get past the initial front four. English just two and a half yards a carry today and only eight yards besides a 24-yard run earlier this afternoon. And even though more emphasis has been put on the running game in Dallas, English is abilities have not been shown off as he takes it around the left hand side and the renegade there once again quickly to get the stop Dallas does not have a first down here in the third quarter trying to get their first here Five wide receivers, empty backfield. Ranklins floats it down the middle. One-handed catch by Goodspeed. Moves the chains, first down to the Renegade 44. Goodspeed took a shot, but these two Silver Star receivers are stepping up. They'll need a little bit more out of them if they want to win the game. Casper on the tackle. Goodspeed King, the first... Silver Star receiver duo in league history. King five grabs 75 yards all in the first half. Here we go. Here we go. Ranklin's out of the shotgun play action. Back to throw. Ranklin's down the middle. No, he intercepted and Stackhouse again could not get his grubby little mitts on it. Gesser applied some quarterback pressure second down. 434 to go in the third quarter. San Francisco and Baltimore coming up next. We plan to give you that game on time. Second and 10 from the 44. 
And the handoff goes to Johnny English, who breaks out of it. Still going, Johnny English! And English will score! Oh, man! That was pretty. And he gives a little shake at the end of it. Top play nominee, one, two, and a beautiful spin move at the end. You got to give props where props are due. English breaks it free, and it's an 11-point game. Holy Oklahoma City was that a good run. With that run, we want to remind uh, we want to remind everybody that uh, Jermaine Smith, the offensive coordinator of the Dallas Stars, he's been promoting the SFL on his site and on his Facebook page. We'll post a link to his website uh, here momentarily in the chat room. He uh, also has a, a very big following on YouTube, so uh, we he's trying to hook us up with some good people in some good places. Jermaine Smith trying to turn this Dallas Stars team around and a, a big step in the right direction there as English cuts the deficit to 10. I know this is a renegade broadcast, but got to give props to the people who are willing to attach their name to our great league. Oklahoma City on the return, on the kickoff return, Oklahoma City, past the 30, to the 20, and down to the Dallas 17. Take that. You speak English, I speak kickoff return. What a run from Doris. Tough break there for the Stars. What a play for Oklahoma City in the red zone off the kickoff return. And off the Brewski who picks up two to the 15. Elphage, five tackles now, two for a loss. Let's go. 27-17, still a 10 point lead. Dallas looking for yet another red zone stop to keep this a two possession game. Two in the backfield, Jasper Hart changing the signals. Hart flips it out to Bruski. He cuts back middle and Bruski only another a couple of yards on the pickup so it's third down and six. Our official website has daily updates about the greatest sim league on the planet, SimulationFL.com. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, subscribe to our Twitch and YouTube channels, all slash SimulationFL. Join us on social media as Hart drops the throw against the blitz. Avoid a one. Dallas came hot and heavy, rushed seven on that play, an all-out blitz. And Cameron Brantley comes away with the sack. I mean, there was no way Hart was getting out of that one and could not find anybody open down the field. That is Brantley's first full sack of the year, now one and a half on the season. And another red zone stand by the Dallas D. Thirty-eight yard field goal for the Renegades. To go up by 13, and the kick is good. So Oklahoma City continues to protect their lead. They get down the field on a monstrous kickoff return that was nearly for a touchdown. Have not had a kickoff return for a touchdown all season. That one 
Here's the closest we've gotten. Dallas desperate to keep their playoff hopes alive. Down by 13. Very, very unlikely a 3-5 and five team will make the playoffs this season as Caesar Cannon returns up to the 30. The former renegade. If you missed it yesterday, you think this is crazy. You should have been here yesterday. I don't know where you were, but whatever you were doing, it wasn't as exciting as what we witnessed as the Kalua Wyverns came back from a 20 to nothing deficit and won in the final minute of the game, 30 to 29 over Grand Rapids. The second straight one point loss for the Rollers, Eric Walsh losing to the other Walshs in the league, Kyle and Jamie. As English takes a carry, left hand side, no gain. Billy Joe Casper shuts that down. 81 yards, 16 carries today for English. Under two minutes to go in the third quarter. Three receivers set, two in the backfield. Offside, Renegades, free play. Johnny English, English trying to bounce to the outside. That's where he is most comfortable. And he picks up a few, but they're going to accept that penalty. Relatively clean game today. This is only the second penalty of the day, I believe, first on OKC. Neutral zone infraction, number 93, defense. Five-yard penalty, repeat, second down. So second and five after Gordon jumps offside. Franklin's back to pass. Looks down the middle, nearly intercepted. Pass defended by Billy Joe Casper, and it's third down and five coming up. Ebenezer Conrad, the intended receiver. Every single Southwest Shout meeting, all five first meetings, or I should say four of five Southwest Shootout meetings, Final score has been a difference of left. And range, and that was not the way to go. Caesar Kennan blanketed. And a big stop for the Renegades there. Franklin's just not a good read, and Dallas will punt it away. Remember, next football Sunday, the schedule will change, but we will have a 6 p.m. game uh, on the docket. Kalua and San Francisco, Orlando and Dallas, two of the three games set to take the stage in week eight. Football Sunday next week, 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern, right here on the SFL Network on Twitch. First down and 10 of the 31. Visit virtualsportsnetwork.com for all your video game news and updated information on the latest title releases. Join the online community and get involved in an online league at virtualsportsnetwork.com, an official partner of the Simulation Football League. Jasper Hart swings it out. That pass is caught. Six-yard gain for Abaratsubo, his fifth catch of the day. Also, don't forget to join our forums trying to grow our SFL fan base by getting people a place where they can chat whether it's game day or not. SFL forum on the website and your link is in the chat room. It's free, don't worry. Everything in this league is free. Three receivers, two backs in the backfield. Counter play to Brewski. Brewski is flattened at the 34-yard line. No chance to break that outside. I tell you what, this Brewer kid... He knows what he's doing out there. He's got a dangerous face mask as well. Third and six. 30 seconds to go, third down six. 
Big move of the change would help out here for Oklahoma City, who has only gotten field goals in the last few drives. Play action against the Blitz. And that pass is... How is that not a first down? I guess we're gonna, I guess Coach is going to have to throw the challenge flag again. Coach is upset, but if he takes a look at the replay, Abarazzo was across the line. This crew is trying to shortchange this team. and How are you not going to challenge? It was right in front of you. Man, I can't believe that call. I mean, he felt the sticks were right in front of him. I just don't understand how that's not a first down. Earlier in this game, Oklahoma City challenged that very same call. It was overturned. No challenge this time. And Dallas gets the ball to start the third quarter of play. 30-17. to 17. Renegades on top. This is Renegade Radio, 106.9 FM. Lock it in and shoot the knob off. Not once in my life did I ever think I would have heart disease. It just didn't fit the profile of a heart event victim. She's healthy. She eats properly. I was pushing my two kids in a stroller, and I had my heart event. And I've been on a bare aspirin regimen ever since. Aspirin is not appropriate for everyone, so be sure to talk to your doctor before you begin an aspirin regimen. I know if I take my bare aspirin, I have a better chance of living a healthy life. Learn how to protect your heart at I Am Pro Heart on Facebook. Feels pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Boom. Bam. Shots. Honey. Seriously? Lowe's wide line of outdoor power equipment include Cobalt, Husqvarna, Troy Built, and John Deere. Get this Troy Built two-cycle trimmer only $119. The Simulation Football League in Oklahoma City Renegade Football on Renegade Radio is brought to you by Lowe's. Never stop improving. By Ping. Golf clubs play your best. And by the Bricktown Brewery. Start of what is to be an epic fourth quarter, 30-17. Dallas catches a monster break as the refs screw the Renegades. Got to call it like you see it. Three wide receivers. Free play. Another offside. Franklin swings it out nearly. Picked off and taken the other way. Pass intended for Scott King, but it's going to be first and five following the second offsides of the second half. Neutral zone infraction. Number 93. Defense. Five yard penalty. Repeat. First down. So Renegades jump, first and five. Dallas has kept it close with red zone defense here today. Three straight fields for Oklahoma City after they built a 21-3 lead. Since that time, the Stars have two touchdowns and the Renegades have three field goals. You saw Ranklins' numbers there. Could be better. Another offside free play Ranklins. He goes down the field. It is caught at the Renegade 45-yard line by Conrad. A non-star who continues to show up this afternoon. Neutral zone infraction, number 93. Defense, the penalty, Mr. Let's take a look at this replay again. Three people, Casper, Savage, and Stackhouse, around Conrad. Three stars, and the non-star makes the play. Receivers coming up big for Dallas. Coming up next, undefeated Crabs. Trying to keep their perfect record alive. They will take on the San Francisco Bulldogs. Adam Stackhouse says, nice to meet you. Points to English say, yeah, you done goofed. Second and 14. Back at the Renegade 49. 
Loss of four for English, who's still looking for a 100-yard game this afternoon. He'll take a handoff right. Johnny English around the right-hand side, breaks a tackle. English first down, gain of 16 to the Renegade, 33. And Dallas is in scoring position. Johnny English, a rare missed tackle by Adam Stackhouse. Tough man to bring down when he heads up field. Two receiver set. Ranklin's out of the shotgun. Renegades lead 30 to 17. Trying to get their first home victory of the season. Ranklin's play action. Back to throw, checks it short. Pass is caught, staying in bounds. Gain of four, Scott King now six catches, 80 yards. That's his first catch of the second half. 11.20 and counting, still plenty of time in this one. Franklin swing pass, caught! Right in between the defensive coverage, King, seventh grab, first down, nearly into the Renegade red zone, and Dallas is on the move. Don't look now. Don't look now. Franklin's with split back, swings it outside, pass caught, that's Cannon. Gain of four to the 17. Ten and a half to go, Gaylor three sacks in this game. But that's all he's managed, three tackles. Four receivers, doubles to either side. Empty backfield on second and six from the 17. Ranklin's back to pass. Ranklin's deep drop back goes to the end zone. It is. Oh, they kissed. They said he caught it. He was out of bounds. He was. Let's get another look at this. They said like half a foot was in bounds. Here's the challenge. That was very close. The Renegades. Are challenging whether the pass so here's yet another challenge by the Renegade coaches. Let's take a look at it. Looked much closer on the second look. And... Oh, he may have had that half a foot in in the front corner. you got to be kidding me. After review, the play stands. The pass was complete. Oh. The pass was made prior to going out of bounds. The Renegades will be charged with a timeout. The play results in a touchdown. What a grab from Scott King. Crowd is enraged. Those Brewskis settling in from the first three quarters, or from the first two quarters. Dallas has cut the deficit to seven on Scott King's half a foot in the end zone. And what's important is where the ball was when he crossed the plane, they said it was over the line. What a catch. 30 to 24 since the Renegades went up 21 to 3. Dallas has three touchdowns. Renegades have three field goals and it's a six point game. And Oklahoma City's Doris, another nice return out to the 36-yard line. This is... I can't take any more of this. <laughs> after, after, if you miss yesterday's game, it's archived on Twitch. It'll be on YouTube later tonight. But, <laughs> man, yesterday was so unbelievable. And now the Renegades and Stars are shaping up for another epic finish. 29 carries, 222 yards. you got to love the Simulation Football League.
I mean, we have just had back-to-back -back incredible games. Hand off the Bruski left-hand side, and Bruski got one. I need a Bruski. I need a Bruski in my hand, and I need a Bruski on the field. I need a Bruski. So come on. Second and nine from the 37. 30 to 24. Renegades trying to get to three and two. Dallas trying to keep their season alive. Three wide receivers, two in the backfield. Hand off Bruski. Bruski past the 45 to the, well, they mark him at the 45. Third down and one. Just shy of the markers. And that was Bovine, actually. Man, I had not made a mistake all day on the Bovine Bruski comparisons. And Bovine has had three carries today, with uh, all with uh, very positive success. Third and short. From the 45, tight coverage for Dallas. Four down lineman. Eight of the box, handed off to Bruski. He did not get it. Zach Elface on the tackle. Fourth down, Oklahoma City. Dallas is really starting to get in a rhythm right now. Another slow start for them. But the difference is last week they let it get out of hand, 42 to 14 at the half. Only down by 18 this week, and they are making a thunderous comeback. From the 16, he fumbled it! He fumbled it! Renegades first down at the 18! What a turnover forced by the Renegades special teams! Renegade special teams in the second half have been huge in this game. The worst possible time for a Dallas turnover. If you're a Stars fan. You can't make this stuff up. Three receivers, two in the backfield. Hart back to pass. Swings it outside and what a catch. Diving to the ground. Gain of five. Doris is having a game. Second and five of the 13. Can the Renegades finally punch one in in the second half? Three receiver set, two in the backfield. Hand off, Bruce. 25 yards, seven yards per carry, but English is creeping up to him in the stat sheet. 93 yards and a couple of scores today. His most productive game as a star this season. 7.38 and ticking. Two receivers and two backs. Hart is changing the play. Hart does not have a passing touchdown today. Hand off to Bovine! And It doesn't matter. I can't get it right. Pete up and was able to fall forward. What a run. First and go at the eight. Somebody get me a how-to guide on to distinguish Bruski and Bovine out of the backfield. Commentating for dummies. Swing pass out to Bruski. Pass the ten to the five. Down to the Second goal, Chris Taylor is hurt. Chris Taylor, the bronze star receiver, is hurt on the play for the Renegades. We have not had a star out for any length of time this year. Taylor, a couple of grabs today. Second and goal from the four. Dallas, how many more goal line stands do they have in them? Hart going to hand it off to Bruski on a counter. Bruski! Touchdown! What a spin move! Put him on the spin cycle! Touchdown! Renegades! Oh, man! How about this carry? Top play nominee! Good! 
Get off me, son! Thirty twenty-four. Renegades will not chase the points. They'll kick the extra point. Six fifty to go in the ball game. Off a full on a punt return. Renegades score. It's thirty-seven to twenty-four. Here on Renegade Radio 106.9 FM, lock it in and shoot the knob off. The Renegades are locked in right now, up 13 once again. Absolutely crazy. A big kickoff return for Oklahoma City helped put a field goal on the board earlier in this half. Dallas on the return, Canada the 31. Oklahoma City averages just 21 and a half points per game. They've scored 14 in three different games. Scored 44 against Orlando and 37 here today. Two receivers. English in the backfield play action. Ranklin's going deep down the field. It is caught. And hit that. Freeman Goodspeed, who was acquired this week. How? We're about to find out. Oh, what a play. Billy Joe Casper looked like he was going to knock it away. Maybe intercept it. I don't know how good speed stayed focused long enough to make that catch. First and 10 at the Oklahoma City 38. The drama today has been outstanding. First and 10. Three in the backfield. Swing pass out of the fullback. Has some open field. And a big hit of the 35 gain of only two. Stallworth, the receiver. Well, we just hit once again our, our record of 23 viewers couldn't pass it up a record that was set today second down to eight of the 35 hand off to English and English picks up seven to the 29 that'll bring up a third and short and how much does Dallas trust Johnny English to pick up this first down Five, 22 and counting. Dallas, you would have to think in four down territory right now. Down two touchdowns. Third and one from the 29. They are going to throw it. Franklin's back to pass. Franklin's down the field and he overthrew Asante Dolman. It's fourth and one. I suppose you could kick it if you're Dallas. Probably get the ball back two more times. But this is not a gimme field goal here. No, they're gonna they're gonna go for it. Fourth and one at the 29. Renegade defense looking for a stand, or maybe Dallas is trying to get them to jump offside. They have twice in this half five on the five on the play clock. That's exactly what they're doing, and I don't agree with the strategy at all. You now only have two timeouts in a game. The timeouts may be very valuable. I don't know why you just don't line up and go for it or line up and kick a field goal. I understand that the Renegades have jumped offside twice in the second half. But for Coach Richmond, that strategy the Renegades should benefit from. Very interesting decision there. Probably the worst thing they could have done. So the field goal will be from 45 yards away. snap good hold the kick is down and missed it Derek Burrow missed it to the right so not only does Dallas burn a timeout but they missed the field goal 
And Oklahoma City this time catches the break. And now Dallas must get a stop to keep their season alive. What a monstrous miss there for Dallas. A mess. Play to the outside to Brewski. Got another first down at game 46. Big play there from Brewski. And it goes back to on third down and one, Dallas electing not to give the football to Johnny English. Two backs in the backfield, two receivers. Swing pass out to Bovine. Ooh, he was crunched, a gain of two yards to the 47. Still no word on Chris Taylor, who was injured earlier in this quarter. Wouldn't be a huge loss for Oklahoma City, but their passing game has struggled with him on the field this year. Passing offense for Oklahoma City, 189.5, last in the league. IDJ313 now following us on Twitch. Thanks for the follow. There is a flag on the field. And somebody may have jumped for Dallas. Cracking under pressure. Neutral zone fraction for 95. Repeat, second down. Second and three at the Dallas 48. Dallas, if they do get a stop, looks like they're going to have to go the length of the field. Second and three from the 48. In Oklahoma City situation, you'd rather look at Abrazzo. He's open. Hart back to pass. Look Abrazzo's way. He goes the opposite direction. It is still caught, and that is Chris Taylor. So Chris Taylor is healthy. A sigh of relief for Renegade fans. First down in scoring position to the Dallas 29. And a Romo does play for Dallas after all. Now Dallas has to hold the three or this game is over. Four wide receivers. Bruski in the backfield. We expect to get a handoff. We do. Bruski breaks a tackle. Henderson cleans up. Gain of four. Bruski now 36 carries on the day for 244 yards. Don't forget coming up next. The undefeated Baltimore Crabs will take on the San Francisco Bulldogs, who, like Dallas, is trying to turn a season around. San Francisco improved their defense, trying to stop Elliott Snyder and get a victory. San Francisco and Baltimore comes your way 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern, right here on the SFL Network on Twitch. Two receivers, two in the backfield for Jasper Hart. He will hand it off to Bruski on a second and six. He breaks a tackle, but ends up losing a yard. Oklahoma City should be able to take this all the way down to the two-minute warning, which means that Dallas would need an absolute miracle. A made field goal would keep it a two-score game. And a first down all but seals the fate of the Stars, who would drop to 0-5 on the season. But back-to-back -back weeks have played valiantly in the second half. But one too many bad decisions. Once again, three receivers, two in the backfield. Bovine's the handoff. The fresh Bovine can't pick up the first down. And the clock will tick all the way down to two minutes. Oklahoma City will kick a 38-yard field goal. And Dallas will have to score, get an onside kick, and score again. Along with two two-point conversions if... The field goal is made. 
I don't think we've ever seen a comeback as crazy as that one in the SFL. This is Renegade Radio. Let's pause 10 for station identification. You're home to Renegade Football, 106.9 FM. Lock it in and shoot the knob off. Fourth down and two. This field goal is from 38 yards away. And the 38-yard kick for Oklahoma City. Oh, he missed it. He missed it to the right. How many missed field goals is Oklahoma City going to have this season? Nate Conway shaked it. And Dallas won't need two-point conversions after all. That's a huge miss. Countering the Dallas missed field goal. Johnny English, first 100-yard game of the season. 19 carries, 100 yards today. Over five yards a carry. Actually had a 130-yard game and a touchdown a couple of weeks ago. My apologies. English. Takes it straight up. He only picked up four. What are you doing running the football down two scores? A bizarre play there. Three receivers, two in the back. 140 to go in the fourth quarter. And they're going to give it to him again. Johnny English breaks a tackle, spins off one. And English did not get the first down. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Third and inches. Dallas's audible book. Must only have English in it, and he did not pick up the first down, and Dallas has to burn a timeout. It's just madness. Audibles are important. And never more important than in that situation. Fourth down and one now. Dallas has to convert. They go empty backfield, four wide receivers, and Oklahoma City jumped offside. Free play, it's tipped away, but it's a first down. Renegades keep the game alive. What a crazy ending here at Transcorp. Neutral zone infraction, number 97, deep five yard penalty, first down. Thomas Ranklins is getting the Renegades to jump here in the second half with some hard counts. This game would have been over without Gaylor's penalty. First and ten. One seventeen to go in the fourth. Four receivers on a first and ten. One timeout for Dallas. They would have to recover the onside kick if they do score a touchdown. Franklin's three-step drop. Oh, nearly, oh, nearly intercepted, and then it went through the hands of Freeman Goodspeed. Second and ten. One fourteen to play. Trips to the top of the screen. Franklin's back to pass. Down the middle. Franklin sees it. He caught it at the 32. 10 in the former Renegade. Dallas burns their last timeout. And Cannon keeps the game alive. Over the outstretched hand of Stackhouse. I mean, Franklin's is fitting these passes into a window that is. Not even small enough for us to crawl through. First and 10 of the 32. Four receiver set, now three to the bottom, short side left. English in the backfield. And Ranklin's to throw. He's in trouble, and he goes down. Loss of eight. Fifth sack of the day for Oklahoma City. 56 seconds and counting. Huge loss there for the Stars. Franklin's to throw. He's in trouble again. Throws across the middle of the field. 
It's about the dumbest pass I've ever seen. But the Renegades couldn't come away with a pick. It's third and 18. Dallas is hanging on by a thread right now. Third and long. Five wide receivers. Empty backfield. Dallas needs the 22 for a first down. It's four down territory. Franklin's deep drop back. Back to pass. Goes over the middle. It's incomplete. Stackhouse knocked it away with relative ease. Fourth and long. Hail Mary now for Dallas. That was so easy for Stackhouse. Who just can't seem to get two hands on the ball. Crowd stands. Even in the upper deck, they're standing up. Four receiver set. Offside. Free play. Are you kidding me? Ranklin's over the middle. It'll be fourth and 13, and they'll have another chance. How many times is Oklahoma City going to keep Dallas in the game? Unbelievable. Neutral zone infraction. Number 90. Defense, the fourth offside on Oklahoma City in the second half. Ranklin's is just getting him with the hard count. Renegades two wound up. 39 seconds. Still fourth down for Dallas. Without any timeouts. Down two scores. Again, four wide receivers. Do they dare run the ball here? Three to the top of the screen. Good speed on Greenwood at the bottom of the screen. Ranklin's is in trouble. Ranklin's back to throw. It's a wobbler and a turnover on downs. And Dallas is finally put out of their misery. Adam Stackhouse knocks it away. A wobbler. Ranklin's was nearly sacked. Pass to Denver Scott King. And the Renegades will improve to 3-2 and two and can take a sigh of relief. Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe coming up your post-game highlight stats and analysis from the SFL Studios in San Antonio, Texas on the 2K Sports post-game show. Victory formation for Oklahoma City. They get their first win of the year and improve to 3-2 and two on the season. Hold the tiebreaker over the defending champs and move into third place. A game back of the New York Knights for second place. And they will... Want to know how the Crabs game results. Because if the Bulldogs can pull the upset, they would be just a game back of first place. 24-37. to 37, Another wild one here on the SFL Network. Baltimore and San Francisco comes your way as soon as we can get it out to you. Kickoff slated for 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern. Right here on the SFL Network on Twitch and on Baltimore Crab Radio. And that is going to do it for this one. The Renegades come out on top 37 to 24. With that, let's look back at some of the plays that made the difference in this one. That was an exciting game. So let's not waste any time in getting to the highlights in our post-game show. We'll pick up the action midway through the third quarter. Number seven went up top on the third down play and he was able to find his man. That set up a 27-yard field goal. The Renegades have opened it up and now lead by 17. Midway through the third, the Stars in control at the 45. Number 24 is going to show a little athleticism here as he finds an opening and then he's off to the races. A 44-yard touchdown for the visitors. Answering right back, the Renegades winning by 10. Conway would come on and connect on the field goal try. They move ahead by 13. I'm out of control. The Stars, later in the fourth, number 12, connected with his man on this one. A 17-yard touchdown for the visitors. The Stars down 30 to 24. 
number 34. Got the carry here, and he comes through. A three-yard touchdown for the home team. The Renegades move ahead by 13. The Stars, still middle of the fourth. Number 11 is going to find himself on the receiving end of this one, and he works his way open for the big play. Unfortunately, they could not capitalize on the play. After a missed field goal, the Renegades leading by 13. Number 7 would draw back and deliver a strike on this one. The Stars, still late in the half. Number 12 would find his target on this one. Unfortunately, they couldn't capitalize on the big play, and they turned the ball over on down. And that's how we'll round this one out. The Renegades win this one 37 to 24. And now for our 2K Sports Player of the Game. Number 34 left no doubt as to why he's one of the greats. Well, they put the game on his legs, Dan, and he managed to find his way through holes big and small all game en route to a big rushing performance. And that performance led his team to victory. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. So what a finish from Oklahoma City as we welcome you back into our San Antonio SFL Studios. 37-24, the Renegades' big second quarter was enough to hold off a late uh, Dallas Stars surge, 37-24. Dallas actually outgained Oklahoma City offensively today, 428-412, to had more uh, passing yards than attempt. Nearly more rushing yards per attempt as Johnny English had his second 100-yard game of the season. Both teams 50-plus on third-down conversions. Dallas was 0 for 2 on fourth downs. Oklahoma City, the game was held close because of Dallas's red zone defense. Only one touchdown given up in four red zone trips by the Renegade offense. OKC... Only 24 pass plays today, 46 run plays. Bovine had one of his best games uh, on the stat line of uh, his young career. Four penalties for Oklahoma City nearly made this game interesting. And the big stat is the three turnovers for Dallas, none for Oklahoma City, and no turnover was bigger than when it was 30-24. to Dallas was about to get the football back. They fumble the punt return. Oklahoma City recovers and scores a touchdown. 14 points off turnovers today for OKC and zero for Dallas. Player stats, Jasper Hart, 86 rating, was the better of the two QBs, just 15 for 22, 143 yards passing. Ranklin's over 300 yards of the second straight game. No touchdowns, no picks for Hart, was sacked twice. Ranklin sacked four times. Running the football, Pete Bruschi today's player of the game, 37 carries, 244 yards and four touchdowns. At wide receiver, Scott King, 8 for 104 and 1 in his new role. Good speed, just 4 grabs, but for 84 yards. Abaratsubo, 6 for 64. Brewski, 4 for 18. Taylor, 3 for 54. Briefly left the game due to injury. Cannon, 3 for 41. English, 3 for nothing. Brewer had 12 tackles. This guy was incredible for Dallas today. Two assisted, one pass defended. Casper, eight tackles, two assisted, one pass defended. Elfage, eight and four on the day. Solid day for him. Greenwood, six tackles, one pass defended. Michael, six tackles, one pass defended. Adam Stackhouse, six, three, and three passes defended, including two late to seal the deal. And Larry Henderson had a sack early on in this one to go along with six tackles. So from all of us at Transcorp Stadium in Oklahoma City, we'll see you back here in uh, just a bit as San Francisco takes on Baltimore if you're watching this on YouTube. Thanks for watching. You sub sub subscribe to us. Boy, I butchered that. 37 to 24, Renegades over the stars today. Improved to 3 and 2. Dallas goes to 0 and 5. From all of us in Oklahoma City and in San Antonio, enjoy the second game of a football Sunday doubleheader. And we'll see you back here at Transcorp in September when they host the undefeated Baltimore Crabs in the final week of the season.